Unfortunately, this eons of time between that period when Lord Krishna was walking on this planet and today is a huge gap of 7,000 plus years. Namaste everyone. Today we are going to talk about Shrama and Karma. Shrama is all labor. Anything that we do to sustain our life here financially, physically and otherwise so many other things that we do at a physical level. That is all Shrama. Karma in those days had a different meaning. Karma is all about Brahmagya. God realization. Enlightenment. And such things can happen only when one is surrendered. God realization, enlightenment, they cannot be forced. You cannot force God and say, I have done so much of punya and now I deserve this God realization. No. Just as you know, these meanings of words change over a period of time. Unfortunately, these eons of time between that period when Lord Krishna was walking on this planet and today is a huge gap of 7,000 plus years. Karma also had a different meaning. Anything that we do towards higher emancipation, God realization, Brahma Vidya, liberation, that came under this classification of karma. It has nothing to do with Shrama. You have every right, you have to think that I am going to have apples or I am going to have mangoes and accordingly I will plant, accordingly I will work. So the fruit or karma falas is already there ahead of me before I exert myself, but not with higher knowledge, not with the Brahma Vedya. So with that in mind, we have to understand Gita. But yes, surrender has all the importance. Surrender is the essence of spiritual life. That's a great message actually from Lord Krishna. That if you want to attain something nobler, greater in the world of spirituality, of course we have to make efforts, but the results are in his hands. So beautifully you can say, I have to surrender. I have to take saranagati the feet of the Lord. Yes, we have a question from Hyderabad. Questioner is Nitya. She is asking this question that I get so many thoughts during meditation and I am overwhelmed with this tornado of thoughts. How do I concentrate? Well, Nitya, meditation is all about regulating the mind, of course. Concentration is the result of doing meditation. So if you are thinking of having a focused mind from the beginning, and if you already have a focused mind, then you don't need to meditate. It is precisely that we have unregulated mind where we don't have regulation of our thoughts. That is why we meditate. It's an exercise. It's a gym, mental gym. We exercise against these thoughts. So, it really does not matter how many thoughts we get or tornado of thoughts, just sit quietly, simply allow yourself to have your mind focused on the heart with an idea that divine light or the source of divine light is already present in your heart. That's all I have to think. If there are more thoughts, what I generally do is direct my mind once again to heart and say, I am actually meditating now. If I remain busy with thoughts, meaning fighting with those thoughts, you will remain fighting. One chain leading to another chain of thoughts, leading to another chain of thoughts and it's a never ending saga. Whenever we realize that, yes, I have deviated from meditation, gently, Remind myself that I am meditating. There is another question from Kartik from Bangalore. He asks, 
How long should I meditate? Well, when we do meditation, you see, when we meditate, generally we meditate for 20 minutes to 30 minutes and slowly increase it as we can manage, but not more than one hour. It is unnecessary after that. But if you still feel like meditating more than an hour, take a break for five to 10 minutes and meditate once again, but no more than one hour again at any given time. The reasons are so many, but when you do meditation, you realize that it is really unnecessary because all that you get after eight hours or 10 hours of meditation, if you can get in such a short time, why not experience that? Artfulness way of meditation rewards us so efficiently that lesser time invested and greater benefit out of this whole process. Best is not to think and limit the time. Whenever this saturation or the end point happens in meditation, you will realize it. Heartfulness way is very simple. Just be in tune with your heart and see how it takes us day after day with our regular meditation practice. You will judge. You will be the judge of when to end this meditation. Thank you.